I have a question for you. Is honesty the best policy? What does that even mean? According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, it means that telling the truth is better than telling a lie, even if it hurts. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but we'll discuss it further in our video today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mona Friday. I teach people breathwork, emotional intelligence, and effective communication. Today, this topic falls under emotional intelligence. When we really develop our emotional intelligence, we can be honest. And is it brutally honest or is it compassionate honesty? That's what I have discovered. I've been working with some couples lately um, discussing honesty and helping with conversations in their relationships. And what I'm finding is it has become more destructive and aggressive rather than constructive and kind. So we really want to look at, are we being brutally honest or wouldn't it be better to be compassionately honest? And when I ask about this, you know, honesty can be a funny thing, you know, because people do believe that, oh, honesty is the best policy. We need to be honest. But I think being kind is very important. Not that honesty isn't. There was a book one of the school counselors used to read to our students. I wish I could remember the title. And maybe if I do, I'll put it in the description box below. But it was about that brutal honesty, where this one little boy was so brutally honest and he would hurt people's feelings. A friend would say, oh, do you love my beautiful hat? And he'd say, no, it's so ugly. And he could have said something nicer, but he was told to tell the truth. And that was his thinking. So telling the truth, again, is important, but the delivery of the truth and the honesty, that to me is the more important question. Rather than um, is honesty the best policy, how we deliver our honesty is more important. And this little boy in this book was taught by a grown-up that instead of being brutally honest, let's be complimentary or compassionately honest. Let's be compassionately honest versus being brutally honest. And the way he was able to do this was if the friend said, do you like my hat? Then he was encouraged to find something about the hat that he liked instead of saying, oh my gosh, that's such an ugly hat. It's like, I really love that feather that's in the hat. That's really unique. And you can use unique as well, or that's interesting, instead of hurtful, hateful words that will um, upset people's feelings. And again, this really falls under the emotional intelligence category because, you know, the five components of emotional intelligence are self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. So if we want to find a better way to deliver the truth, we want to be aware of what the truth is, and it can be subjective. There is, it doesn't have to be black and white, just as in complimenting somebody about something. You can regulate your behavior and your response and come up with a, the nicest response you can. What is your motivation in responding? Are you motivated by hurting that person or do you want that person to feel good? And how do you want that person to receive it? How would you motivate that person? And then the empathy. You know, if that really is a hideous hat, then use empathy and say, hey, you know, that hat you're wearing, it's a very interesting hat, but I think you could look better in something else. And that would be compassionate um, honesty. And then, of course, the social skills. We want to work that in. We want to be able to play well with others. We don't want to tear everybody down. We don't want to be destructive. And if you do, then I would seek some help for that. Or I would just end the relationship with that person because they're not bringing out the best in you and you are not giving them your best. And so you might want to visit that. Anyway, the benefits of being honest are uh, one, 
you have more peace of mind and with peace of mind then you end up with better overall health. Two, you live authentically and when you're more authentic then you're happier. You live a happier life and again happiness leads to health. And three, you are better respected. You have a better reputation for those people who know you. They know you to be an honest person and that builds trust in others. And then four, it helps you to uh, have better conflict resolution. And when you can have honest communication in a way that a person feels safe talking with you, then you're gonna have better relationships. So it is important to be honest. And so again, I'm not saying um, to lie, I'm saying deliver it with compassion and be diplomatic about it and think about what is your objective. Let me cover some areas where honesty is very important. So um, first off, honesty with ourselves is I believe the most important because if we are not honest with ourselves then it's very difficult to be honest with others and you know we have to look at uh, honesty in our relationship with others, whether it's our um, partnerships, whether it's with our children, all the relationships, friendships, look at those relationships and ask yourself, am I living that best life? Am I having the best relationship with that person? And you want to think about what your needs are. Again, this goes back to emotional intelligence and being aware of what your needs are. What do you want for your life? So when you know what you want for your life, you know what your needs are, then it's important to really be honest about that. And you know, it's with the relationships, your personal relationships, your finances. Be brave and look at that bank account and see if uh, you're in the red or if you're in the black, if you need some financial help. We weren't born knowing how to, um, manage our finances. So it's so important to get that kind of help and to get yourself financially sound because oftentimes people make mistakes and they choose poorly because it is connected to their finances and they think that, well, this is going to benefit me financially, but it ends up hurting you personally. And that's not a wise decision because then oftentimes you feel trapped because of finances. Sometimes you get into a relationship because you think that person's going to financially support you and you're just kind of selling yourself and that's not a good way to live your life. So um, other areas um, you want to look at are, again, like I said, your personal life and your family relationships. Being honest with your children, being honest with your partner, being honest with your friends. If somebody has upset you, have that little conversation with yourself. How did they upset me? Why am I upset? Figure all that out first. Then make a plan with whoever it is you need to talk with and then share that with them. Tell them how you honestly feel, but do it compassionately. Have compassion with yourself first and say, hey, you know, it's okay that I feel this way. Why am I feeling this way? When you figure that out, then you share that. Then we want to look into the professional life, whether we work for ourselves, whether we have a boss, coworkers, clients, we want to have an honest relationship with them as well. It's very important in the workplace because then you can build that trust. Once you lose that trust, if people find that you're dishonest, then it's really difficult for you to gain that back. So again, this is where the honesty is the best policy can help. If you make a mistake, it is so important to be honest and say, you know what? I made a mistake here and I want to come clean on it. I realized that I did this or that. And, and then you share that. And hopefully they will use some compassion with you and you guys can work through it. Because when you can communicate honestly, then you can come up with a mutual resolution rather than it being a one-sided thing or blowing up into some sort of a, an ugly event. 
you know, we are human, we make mistakes. And if we can allow for those mistakes, then it's going to be so much better. And when we can accept that for ourselves and accept that for others, but there does come a time where you, you do have to have your boundaries because if somebody is doing things repeatedly, then you know they're not sorry. They're just sorry they got caught. So um, please look into that. Again, this is another dive into the self-discovery, the emotional intelligence, and this is a great area to look into to develop that emotional intelligence to develop who you are and what you want in your life because the thing is this is your life and if you abandon yourself everybody else will too they will walk over you they will use you and you're not going to live a happy life so i strongly encourage you to Really explore this and see what it is you want in all these areas. And you can do this slowly. It doesn't uh, have to be a quick thing. You really take the time to do an in-depth discovery session with yourself in these different areas and see what it is you want, see what it is you need. Those things are not going to just magically come to you. So if you want to be the best person and make the best impact, in the world, on your life, in your family, then you have to create it. And you create it by knowing who you are first and being honest with yourself. Living an honest life to me is the best way to live a healthy, happier life. And in my opinion, honesty is the best policy. However, compassionate honesty with intention is the best policy. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, I wish you peace, love, and happiness.